So I want to show off this new uh, GPT that I built on ChatGPT. So it's called uh, GPT Arms. And the way you can find it, if you haven't done this before, is just go to Explore GPTs and just type uh, GPT Arms and you'll see it. Uh, and you just click on it and uh, start chat. And so what GPT Arms does is it basically lets you, or it'll basically make ChatGPT interact with uh, a website. For you so you can do common tasks that you might not want to do so a good example could be you know renew my for me colorado car registration so you just tell it to do something and it'll actually start interacting with a uh with the web um so you can and it'll up it kind of updates you as to what's going on just so you can see um so you can see what's happening so you can see here it's uh it pulls up the colorado i guess it pulls up a colorado website um and it figures out what you need to go to do, which is kind of nice, especially for like renewing car, because it's always so annoying reading and going through all this stuff. Um, uh, so it goes to the, uh, let's see. Yeah, so it goes to the, the online registration, basically goes here where you need to go. Um, so it does, you need some information. So I'm just going to tell it, uh, so, so, so yeah, it, it just keeps going. Please provide the required details so I can proceed. So you can, you can also input information. So, um, uh, I'll just say use dummy data. I, I, I already re-registered my car. So, um, but just so you can see how it fills out forms and continues to do stuff. So you can do a lot of different things like, uh, you know, track UPS packages, make reservations online, you know, you can log into your Amazon account and, and view your orders and even place orders and stuff like that. Um, and it updates you as it goes. So, but anyways, I just wanted to show it off. Um, yeah, it look, so you can see it, it put in some dummy information and it just says, uh, unable to bear, uh, you know, that this is not real information, so it's not able to proceed, but I just wanted to, you can see how it actually put in information and it's clicking all these little web elements too, which, I've gone through this process, you know, just by me and it's kind of an annoying process. So I think it's pretty cool and I'm going to continue to work on to improve it. I'm just hoping to get some other people using it and trying it out and seeing kind of what tasks that they commonly do that uh, GPT arms could help with. So feel free to give me feedback would be awesome. And I'll just keep working to improve it again. It's called GPT arms and you can just go to explore GPTs and then just type in, uh, just search for GPT arms and it'll come up and you can try it. Um, so thanks. Bye for now.